All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Quiptic crossword. That was a weekly crossword that's a little easier than the daily. Set this week by Pascal. Let's see what he has for us. Poet in Dwelling by River. Well, I think we're going to have to have a four-letter word for dwelling, followed by R for river, and it's going to give us a poet. And I'm thinking home plus R is Homer. A captured unusual percussion instrument. I'm thinking the second word is going to be drum. Steel drum? St steel? Sounding like steel. Um, oh, uh, and rum, of course, is unusual. Uh, so I think uh, there's going to be an overlap six-letter word meaning captured. Ending in D. Oh, uh, ending in D. Try that again. Uh, so, oh, snare drum. Ah, yes, if something is snared, it is captured. Rum, unusual, and a snare drum. All right, smashing old room at front of hospital department. Yeah, I'm not sure where the definition is. Could be smashing. Um, a hospital department we often see is ear, nose and throat because it gives a nice ENT ending. And so maybe it's O for old and then a room which goes in front of ENT. Of course front of hospital it could also be an H. But um, if it is ending in E and O and something E and T, what would smashing be? No, not seeing it. Let's try the downs. You rarely now having the energy. Well, that reads very weirdly. Uh, you rarely now having the en energy. I mean, that. I was a little surprised that was left in that way, but I think it helps us because it makes sense if you say a word for you, but rarely now. So it's an old fashioned word for you. And then it's going to be the plus energy, which is often abbreviated to E. So the. All right. Friendly message written by French chum. Well, having the M in second place, I immediately think of a French chum is, is an ami, and therefore the definition is probably going to be friendly, and we can think of amicable, and so the message is a cable, which I think is very old-fashioned. I don't know what countries still even have cables, uh, telegrams, Anyway, test is or deal with a couple dropping out. I think it's the definition is test. And is it going to be? I'm wondering if it could be the actual word ordeal. Yes, it is. With a couple of letters dropping out, you get an oral, as in an oral exam. All right. A bodybuilder for a heavenly body. So presumably it's a heavenly body, a star, planet. Now, whenever we see A in a clue, we should be a little suspicious because the clue would probably read the same without that A. But I'm wondering if this is going to begin with A followed by a seven-letter word for a bodybuilder. What is a bodybuilder, though? Uh, Yeah, nothing is coming to me. Uh, how about computer, container, chum, 
knocked over. Oh, so we have another uh, chum. Um, so the obvious short word for a chum would be a pal, and if that is knocked over, you get a lap. I'm wondering if it could be, ah, uh, yes, a uh, computer. Immediately when you think lap, you think laptop. And so the container is a pot and then a pal, and they are not both knocked over reverse to give you the laptop. Our customers, perhaps, shocked by her despair. Uh, I'm wondering if the definition could be our customers, perhaps. Yes, and I'm thinking, I was wondering if that is referring to Pascal and his fellow setters, but then I thought, oh, maybe it's the Guardian. What's another word for the Guardian's customers? And it is an anagram, I think, of her despair, so shocked by that, and it would be a readership. There we go. We'll just finish these last, uh, these next two downs. Pair in church with one of the royals. Ah, so just thinking of royalty, something are. One word that might come to mind is prince. Uh, pair can be abbreviated to PR. In is simply in, and church is usually CH. Just an abbreviation, RCE for Church of England. All right, military supplies needed by team momentarily. So I think this is a hidden clue. I do have a little quibble with it though. I think it's hidden within team momentarily and it's some military supplies. But usually a hidden clue will tell you that it's part of, or hidden within, or it's a section of, or you remove some of it. But needed by, to me, does not fully indicate it's a hidden clue. I suppose those letters are needed, otherwise you can't write out T momentarily, but I would quibble with that one. All right, let's go back to the uh, crosses. Smashing. Oh, yeah, so um, now I think we can see the word ending in ENT. Uh, so old isn't an O, it's X. Um, a room is a cell, I suppose, as in a prisoner's room or a monk's room. And then our ENT department, and the whole thing is excellent. All right, put wild dog in here. Well, with the letters we have, I think that's pretty obviously dingo, which is a wild dog. But it's also an anagram of dog in. And so I think this is a type of clue they called an and lit where the definition also provides the wordplay, or there's an overlap between them. Because wild, I think, is telling us to anagram dog in. And here, I think, is just saying, yes, when you do all of that, you're going to get exactly that, a wild dog. <laughs> so it hurts my head a little bit, but I think that is uh, how to read that. All right, odd taboo about cocaine repeatedly seen as harmful product. Um, so I, odd, I was thinking we were going to take the odd letters from taboo, T-B-O, but I think here it's an anagram indicator. Cocaine can be abbreviated to C and repeatedly means we're going to have two C's, and they're going to be in the middle of that anagram of taboo, and that gives us tobacco. Fairly straightforward, I think. 
a signal in harbor to finish. Well, it sounds like the wordplay is telling us to put a word for signal inside a harbor and it's going to mean finish. Now it could be the verb finish or it could be a finish on, on something like on furniture. I'm wondering if the harbor could be a pier Um, so the I, I think, would then have to go here. Um, I think we'd have to have another E and R, so signal then would be R something E, but I can't see a word like that. There is something, maybe I'm thinking of veneer. So yeah, maybe harbor isn't pier. All right, how about Charlie, Finn, and hygienic? Well, I think Charlie is slang for cocaine, which as we saw can be C. And if someone is thin, they are lean. And if you're hygienic, you're clean. Expert, seen as wicked on reflection, so I think um, it's a word for expert. When you reverse it, it means wicked. Well, the obvious three-letter word for wicked is bad. And if you reverse it, it's dab. So I think that's expert as an adjective. You might describe somebody as being a dab hand. They're an expert hand at something. All right, attire. Bishop, shed, coming to one country. Wow. Um, first thing I was thinking was habit, which might be a tire. Bishop, shed, coming. But then I'm thinking maybe it's uh, Haiti is one country. But I can't see the the word play. You know, bishop can be B. H A B I T shed coming to one. Ooh, but of course, um ah, so actually I <laughs> I was right with both of those. You start with habit, uh, but the bishop is shed, the B is removed, and so you get H-A-I-T, and then it comes to one, and that's how we get the country. Oh, my goodness. Agent is terribly irritating. Well, I think that's going to be an anagram of agent is. Again, when you see the A... You should think it's going to be part of the wordplay. Um, could it be an IST ending? Uh, it could be ITE, ATE, meaning irritating. I think I need some letters for that. All right. One must be involved in diplomacy. That is understood. Okay, well, diplomacy is tact, but one, again, I. And I think there's two theories as to why I is appropriate to use whenever you see one, either from the Roman numeral or if you say in a very... Uh, formal British way, one is not amused. That could mean I am not amused. Either way, anyway, tacit is something that is understood without saying. Ah, the T is at the beginning. Irritating. Oh, it could be an ING. 
yeah, teasing, I think. If you irritate somebody, maybe you tease them. Write about air. Atmosphere is unbreathable on this planet. Well, I, th I think they're sort of telling us it's a planet. So can it be Neptune? Write about air. Ah, yes. Yeah. So if you write something, you pen it. And that word is about or turned backwards. And an air is a tune. And you get Neptune. All right. Uh, HQ penetrated by the enemy unit. I'm thinking unit is the definition just because one thing penetrated by another sounds like wordplay. So we're going to put something for headquarters, maybe center. Ah. I'm thinking of a unit of measurement that has center around it. And that's a, a centimeter. Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, let's just try it with only one eye. So center penetrated by the enemy. So it's hard to know which T... Oh, I think it's time is the one that goes inside, and that's the T from center. Uh, I think we've seen this before, where the word time is clued by the enemy from the phrase time is the enemy. I'm not sure I completely approve of that, but uh, we get this for free, so what are you going to do? All right, road flooded by broad river. I wonder if it is a river. I don't think I've seen wordplay as one thing flooded by another, but I am wondering if we're going to have something for a road that is going to be f flooded or penetrated, to use the word from the other clue, Broad, I, just, I keep thinking the wide, so no, I don't see it. No, signal in, oh, a harbor, of course, could be a port. Ah, yes, so I think um, I was reading it wrong. I thought it would be a word for signal inside something a word for harbor, but um, you get a word that means signal in this wordplay, which is harbor, port, and to finish something is to end it. And if you portend something, you might signal it's going to happen. Ooh, so now I'm wondering if this could be a drive, could be a, a road. Oh, it's another hidden clue, I think. Um, and again, I would question the indicator flooded by. It does mean one thing goes inside another, but it's saying flooding within broad river is D-R-I-V-E. Ooh, um, hmm. not too sure about that, but what are you going to do? Now, oh, this, of course, is an asteroid, and the bodybuilder is a, or a, yeah, is a steroid. Ah, okay. Uh, one in worship, like a jellyfish. Well, I'm thinking like in jellyfish is boneless, for some reason that comes to mind. And we're putting one inside bless. Now, does bless mean worship? That's a question for you. I don't think it is the same, but... And so maybe this is wrong, but I'm going to leave it in for now. One sister and one lad 
agreeing. Well, I think agreeing is going to be the definition. Again, one is going to be an I, and I think a sister in this case is a nun. And then we have I for one again, and a lad is son in unison. All right. Upper class type, A riots upset. Well, yes, yet again, we have an A that I think is going to be part of the wordplay. A riots has six letters. I think that's going to be upset. That's probably one of the easier anagram indicators you'll see. And so we're going to get an upper class type. Ah, yes, an aristo, sort of a slang shortening of an aristocrat. Awful danger in Eden. Ooh. Ah, so I think this is an anagram of danger. It's awful or anagrammed. And Eden was a garden. All right, let's finish the uh, downs. Who in Calais needs boat finally to leave? Well, Calais is being used here as just a French town, so the word who in French is qui, and boat finally, the last letter of boat is a T, and if you leave, you quit. Uh, at side of street, dad is tense. Well, I think it's going to be a grammatical tense. Dad is often pa, and then street. I think just st, short for street. It is also the outer letters of street, but I think it's just typical shortening, and just at side of means you put dad beside st because they're not giving us these two words in the right order, let's say. And you get the past tense. All right, and then how about Greta's short dress? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, so the famous Greta from the past, Greta Garbo, but if you shorten that, you get garb or the way you dress. Sun, without much money on track, so sun is often abbreviated to S. If you don't have much money, you're poor. And a spore is an animal track, I think. All right. Prisoners chopping up nine trees. Well, I think it's going to be an anagram of nine trees, and I think we have in turn E's. Uh, turning less colorful, Carol is declining in health. Well, I'm thinking declining in health is relapsing, maybe. Then, ah, yeah, so less colorful is paler. You have to turn that to get relap. And to carol is a verb meaning to sing, and the whole thing gives us relapsing. Uh, lots of sheets, not all required. Okay, so I think this is a standard way of indicating a hidden clue by saying not all of required. So just starting at the queue, we have choir, which is some uh, quantity of paper um, like a ream, a choir. All right, I think it was fairly straightforward. There were just a few quibbles I had, maybe on some of the words Pascal used to indicate certain kinds of wordplay, but it's all fair game, I suppose. We're just with, the, I suppose, the uh, notation that I think the quiptic is supposed to be a little easier than the daily, and so I think Pascal maybe could have gone a little easier on us for a Sunday crossword. Anyway, I got there. Uh, not too bad a time, I think. 
Thanks as always for watching and have a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead.